Welcome to Bula Dila, about 250 kilometres north of Sydney. It's a beautiful spot, it's the gateway to the Great Lakes. But I'm here to interview both Philip and Catherine Fennell. That's and great. you probably know them because you are the authors of Camps Australia Wide. That's correct, Fred. We've, uh, we've had the business for over um, nine years and number eight just recently was released uh, to, to the public. Now you talk about Australia wide, does that mean both of you travel all around Australia? Yes we do, six to seven months a year. Six, what about kilometres? How many kilometres would you put up in six to seven months? Uh, normally about 40,000 to 45. Last year was a bit bigger because we did Western Australia. That was a huge, a huge run. And with these camp sites, you record things like uh, whether it's got a toilet there, whether it's got seating there, shades. What other things do you look for in a site? Grass, shade, toilets, picnic tables, barbecues, fireplaces, dogs. That's one of the most important ones for people travelling with pets, mm. whether mm. dogs are allowed mm. or not allowed. And we have Vista symbols, oh, that's and right. then we've got a special symbol, it's called the red tick. That means Philip and Catherine really loves this <laughs> site. <laughs> So how do you travel around? Are you motel people or hotel people? No, well you can see behind us here we've got our rig and our, um, our caravan and basically once we start our, our, our schedule we're normally 500 to 600 kilometres a day. So you've travelled a lot for years, can you give us a couple of tips, things you've learnt you could pass on to other travellers you think are valuable? Um, I mean basically you just got to make sure you don't overstretch yourself when you're trying to travel from, from point A to point B. If you're going into a slightly remote area, make sure you've got plenty of water. If you're going on an outback adventure so to speak, um, <coughs> have at least a satellite phone. You can rent them, you can buy them, um, there's other devices. We use Spot for our communication with our office and family so it sits on the dash. Now what is different, what is new about Campsite? What was happening is the maps were getting extremely crowded. So right. we've designed it so it's a bit easier to read. Right. 380 sites, new sites. In Camps right. 8. Mm. And most of those are free or low cost. So what's a final uh, comment about Camps 8, about what you do? Can you give us a wrap it up for okay. us? Okay, I, th I, th I think it's very important that because this is a publication and once it's printed the information's in there. Now we have a website, right. um, so when we're travelling or other travellers send us information, we've got on our website an update section. So it's really important for people from time to time is go on the website, check because sites could close, mm. facilities could get taken away or added, plus there's new sites and that information is all available. Yeah. If you keep going to the site to get it updated, um, it becomes invaluable. Yeah, I like that last point, a very important Yeah, it's one. important to update it. Anyhow, I'm very glad I caught you both. Thanks a lot, Thank Fred. you, Philip, and yeah. thank you too, Catherine. Thank you, Fred. Thanks for your time. Oh, that's Thanks, great. Fred. Thanks, Fred. To find out more about Camps Australia Wide, head to www.campsaustraliawide.com.